Ronda Rousey making her modeling debut. She is one of three covers stars this year, and she isn't even wearing a bathing suit. What you're looking at is body <laughs> paint. Is that amazing? Wow. Also making history, model Ashley Graham. She's the first size 16 model to grace the cover of the swimsuit issue. Absolutely gorgeous. Model Haley Clausen is also snagging a cover. Take a look. The magazine also running a brand new campaign by the nation's leading plus-sized women apparel brand, Lane Bryant. The spread celebrates body positivity and healthy curves. I want to bring in Lane Bryant CEO and President Linda Heasley and Lane Bryant model and campaign ambassador Tara Lynn. Good to see you both. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Wow, this is such a great idea. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, tell us first why this was important to you and why you're sort of celebrating the plus-size model. Well, we believe we should be celebrating women of all shapes, sizes. It's definitely about body inclusivity. We believe Lane Bryant needs to be her brand for empowerment. And that's what we're doing. It's, just a, it's a celebration. And the onus is on you to do it. I mean, you, you have to be the ambassador and sort of out there cheering and celebrating, I, I think, because you, you don't see anybody else doing it. Well, we feel like we're leading the charge, and we do feel a greater responsibility and accountability to do that. We're a 110-year-old brand, and it's time and it's timely. It's time to shake things up. Yeah. This body is made to make a change. Good for you. <laughs> Tara, what kind of reception have you gotten? Um, I think the, the reception has been overwhelmingly positive. Um, I remember when I first read the manifesto uh, that we have for the This Body campaign, I was, I mean, overcome, just absolutely in tears, thinking this is what all women need to feel. Uh, we need to feel that we are made for, you know, deserving love and deserving um, to be seen and to be heard and to be represented in the media. Mm. Has Instagram, you think, helped more than it's hurt? In I mean, it's certainly turned a focus on women and their bodies, but also self-empowerment. And I just think that there, you see a lot more acceptance of women of all shapes and sizes because of Instagram and social media. Do you think that's true? I think absolutely that's true because instead of the media being simply what is given to us by some higher power, we're doing it ourselves and, you know, and able to, you know, it's a platform for us to, to express ourselves and to sort of, you know, create our own image and, you know, receive response directly from the public. How is it working with designers? Are they seeing this as a great segment of the market because this seems so fun and it seems like this is an awesome space to be right now and there's a lot happening and it is so empowering. Well, our designer collaborations were designed to do that, to put a spotlight on the fact that it's time to change and help them because they, they get asked all the time <clears throat> to give women of this size clothes that they design and they didn't know how to do it. And we find that they're very interested. Great, so you can help them with the resources to produce these collections. Absolutely, and to bring their designs at a price point that our client in particular really loves. What kind of reception have you gotten from the public? Great reception. Yeah. I think, as you said, social media is, is where I read how people are resonating, how this is resonating with them. And the, and the message is, it's, it's as Tara Lynn said, it's their message. It, we're giving them a platform to express themselves. And that's what's really exciting. It's been overwhelmingly positive. And these women are unapologetically beautiful. And it's time to celebrate that. There's yeah. more competition, though, in the, in the clothing business and apparel for uh, plus sizes because there there's a lot more out there for women. There's more interest, but there's very few that can do it well. And, it, and, the, and this client is not a size up or a grade up from a Missy size. She deserves something that really fits right. her. Right. It's, it's not just si it's sizing up. It's, it's, it's designing clothes that are flattering on all different shapes and sizes. Always. Yes. And that's what I think we are particularly suited well to do so. This is all we focused on. What's the best medium to get this message across? Because this should be getting everywhere. Is it through tra traditional print and media? Is it, is it through online? Where's the best way to get the message? I think all, all forms of media. Clearly one of the things we've tried to do with the three campaigns we've had is to challenge traditional media which has never really represented this woman. And so what we're saying, it's time to change all of that. So we want to hit traditional media. We want to go to the social channels. We're getting it on all fronts. It's really fun. Tara, did you have um, sort of barriers in your journey as a model because of size? Tell us a little about how your journey has evolved. I mean, you, you're absolutely gorgeous. We, we know that. Um, but because of size, did, did you have issues? I never had any issues. No, I think that the industry of plus-size modeling already existed when I got involved. Um, 
and so there was, it was sort of always, there was something always available, but I've definitely seen the clothes over my eight plus year career become better and better, and also for, you know, the client base, so the companies I work for, um, you know, to become more numerous. And, and Linda, real quick on business right now, how would you characterize things? Uh, we're, we're, we, every day we have a, this debate about the economy and retail sales, what are you seeing? Economy is tough. We are blessed in the fact that if we deliver the right fashion, and it's a fashion business, not a size business, we can entice her to purchase. And it, she wants to look great. She should look great all the time. Absolutely. Linda Heasley, Tara Lynn, good to see you both. Thank you. Thanks Thank so much. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Next hour,